Hello everybody and welcome back to Bloodborne TV. Today I'm going to be showing you my personal best insight farming method in the entire game. This method can be found early in the game, so if you're low level this can be really helpful. And also if you're high level and you're wanting to get a lot of insight pretty quickly, this is also a very good way to do so. For the first part of this tutorial, we'll have to go down to Old Yarnum and beat the Blood Starved Beast. So if you haven't accessed Old Yarnum, uh, follow the path that I'm about to take. Once you're going through this area, it is extremely vital that you pick up the Ritual Blood on that table because it will be very important um, later in this tutorial. Be sure to bring Antidote and Fire Paper during this battle because he is weak to fire and if you get too close to him or get hit by certain attacks he does do poison damage which can really affect you during the battle if you're not watching your health. 
This boss is extremely fast and there is absolutely no shame in calling for a friend if you need one. Once you've killed the Bloodstarved Beast, he will drop the Temerian Chalice. After the fight, head back to Hunter's Dream and walk up to one of the Ritual Altars. From here, you'll want to click on Chalice Ritual, click on the Temerian Chalice, and conduct the ritual using the Ritual Blood that we got earlier. For this part, you'll want to write down the glyph code that is in the bottom right of the menu. Now, after you've done all the steps, created the ritual, and gone into the chalice dungeon, you'll want to kind of speed run this area. Every time you kill a boss, he'll give you, I believe, two insight, which is very helpful. These bosses are pretty easy, especially if you're in late game and you have good weapons. These bosses are a cakewalk. They should go down in four to five hits. Um, if you're a lower level, they're a little bit harder, but they're not extremely hard. They're way easier than any of the bosses that you've fought up to this point. So if you could take on Father Gascoigne, you can definitely take on these guys, like, completely easier. You, even some of these enemies that you see in the, uh, some of the bosses that you see are basically enemies that you'll encounter through the dungeons normally, so they're, they're definitely not the hard. On average, it takes about 5 to 10 minutes to finish this dungeon, so 6 inside every 5 to 10 minutes is very good. The bosses also have a chance to drop early level blood gems and bloodstone shards, so you can farm those as well going through this dungeon. Once you finish the dungeon, go back to Hunter's Dream and walk up to the ritual altar that you started at. You will now want to delete the dungeon, go to enter glyph code, and input the code that we wrote down before we entered. Now you've unlocked the ability to replay the dungeon as many times as you want without using any ritual blood. So congratulations, you can farm this as much as you want, just make sure that you remember that code. Thank you all so much for watching, be sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye!